the twins are vegan. Vegan, okay, no problem, I will let Chef know. So like, how will that work? Sorry, how will what work? Well, are they gonna get like a completely separate menu? Like, what's the deal? Oh, right, so we have our set four week menu, and then what Chef will do is she'll make the same thing that's on the menu, but a vegan version of it, just so that children don't notice there's anything different about their food. Oh, I see, so if I look at the menu and I see that it says spaghetti bolognese, I know they had a vegan version of that. For the most part, definitely. I mean, occasionally it may differ slightly, but on the whole, she's great at getting all the meals to look identical, so none of the children notice that their food's any different. Okay, great, and are there any other vegans? Yeah, we have vegans, vegetarians, lots of allergies, intolerances, preferences, lots of variations of the menu. Blimey, and Chef does it all by herself. Yes, I mean, for a while, it was looking like it was only gonna be allergies and intolerances that we offered a variation of the menu to just because the preferences were really bogging her down with the workload but head office overruled that oh good i'm glad okay uh well we'll see you next week for lacy and lucy's first day see you then a few months later morning morning i've got a bit of a crisis morning morning lacy morning lucy do you want to go sit down for breakfast is everything okay not really so i have literally just been called in for an emergency meeting at work tomorrow okay so i need to book the girls in Okay, okay, do you know, off the top of my head, we, we do actually have the numbers to accommodate that, that's fine. Oh, great, thank God, okay, so you can take them, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, just one thing though. Yeah. Chef isn't actually going to get a delivery until Thursday, so you would just need to bring in a packed lunch for them. Well, there's no food for any of the children in the nursery tomorrow. Oh, no, we do, it's just I was working in the kitchen with Chef yesterday, and I noticed we had no vegan stuff, and she explained to me that it's all been put in the order, which isn't coming until the day after tomorrow. Obviously, we weren't expecting the girls in tomorrow, so would it be okay if you packed them a lunch just for tomorrow? Oh, right, sure, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll pack them a lunch for tomorrow then. Okay, great, thanks very much, we'll see you later. Okay, bye! The next day. Right, Lacey and Lucy, what have you got in your packed lunches? And Okay. Evening. <laughs> Evening, girls. Would you like to go and grab your pat lunches while I talk to your mummy? That's it. They've been good today. Oh, they've been great. However, I did have a query about the lunch you packed for them. Yeah. It had cheese and yogurts and egg. Mm-hmm. It's their favourite. That's great. But you said that they're vegan. They are. Here. Oh, um, why are they only vegan here? They did want to do it all the time, but... I found myself, you know, preparing a vegan meal for them and then a separate meal for myself. You know, it was a lot of work, you know? I do know how much work it is. I see poor chef breaking her back every day to accommodate preferences for 20 plus children. And I'm so glad that she does that because then it means I don't have to. You're not really sensing my tone. Good evening. How are you? Is there on the app that she only had an hour and a half sleep? Uh, yes. Yes, that's right. Did I not specifically tell you she's meant to have two hours sleep? No, you did. It's just that if she doesn't sleep that long, then she doesn't sleep that long. What, you just let her wake up? I, I mean, that is generally how it works. We can't stop them waking up. What I mean is, funny woman, do you even encourage her back to sleep? Yeah, of course. If Maddie begins to stir, maybe before her two hours is up, I will gently rub her back. But if she wants to wake up, she wants to wake up. Well, then you're obviously not doing it right, okay? Her routine is a two-hour nap every day. I know, and I have no idea how you manage it at home, but here she just does not want to sleep for the full two hours. You call yourself a childcare practitioner. You can't do one basic thing. Well, she is three, so most of her friends have already dropped their nap completely by this age. Plus, she's napping through all of her friends playing as well, which is quite a feat. So the fact that she's getting an hour and a half is still incredible. But it's not the two hours, okay? I want her to have the two hours. I appreciate that, but we're already doing all we can to ensure she gets those two hours. We dim the lights, we take some of the children out to play so they don't disturb her. It's just, if she doesn't want to sleep for the full two hours, then she just doesn't want to. No, 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 I'm not accepting that because she's here for another year and a half. And if you're already starting to lay off on her naps now, what's going to happen next year? Next year, you want her to continue having two hour naps when she's four? I want her to have the two hour naps until she leaves for school in September 2025. I mean... To be honest, none of our preschoolers nap, and if the odd occasion calls for it when they do because they're particularly tired, it's maybe more like a 20 minute power nap. None of them sleep for two hours. I don't care what the other children do, okay? I want my child to nap every single day for two hours. Well, actually, when she's at home with you on a Wednesday, um, how do you normally get her to nap for the full two hours at home? Because maybe there's something there that we can replicate to get her to do it here. She doesn't nap for two hours at home. What? 
She doesn't nap for two hours at home. What well, if you can't get her to nap for two hours, how do you expect me to be able to? Because you're a child care practitioner, okay? It's literally in your job title. I thought you were an expert at getting children to sleep. I can get her to sleep. I'm, I'm getting her to nap every single day without fail. I just... It's not in my job description to keep her asleep for a whole lot of time of two hours if she doesn't want to sleep that long. Well, then you're not very good at your job then, are you, okay? You're meant to be able to keep a child asleep. I can certainly get her back to sleep if she wakes after maybe 15, 20 minutes. Well, that's no good. I need you to keep her asleep for two hours. Keep her asleep? Look, I don't have this magical ability that you're talking about. Apparently, neither do you. It's not my job to take care of her. You're her mother. So I'm Charlotte and this is my colleague Saoirse. Hiya! Lovely to meet you both. I'm Eva and this is my fiancé Paul. Oh well it's lovely to meet you both. Alright. So when's the big day? Oh well we haven't set a date yet. We've got a few other things to sort out first but um, hopefully not too far. Oh that's so exciting. And is little James going to be a page boy? Oh yes definitely. He's going to be our little page boy. Oh, well, James, we can't wait to have you start with us next week. And it was lovely to meet you both. Oh, it was so lovely to meet you both. And um, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye. 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 Oh, hey, Saoirse. Charlie, I am so glad you're here. Is everything all right? You know that new boy that's starting with us next week, uh, James? Yeah. His dad just messaged me on Facebook. Oh, what, with like a question or i think he's testing the waters what do you mean testing the waters so initially i thought it was just a nice message so hi uh, it was nice to meet you today mm. must make you beauty being around all those kids mm. do you think you and your boyfriend might have kids someday he's trying to figure out if you're single <laughs> even if i was he's barking up the wrong tree but like he's engaged that's really shady behavior <gasps> he's not messaged you too he has oh my god ah oh, stop what's it say lovely to meet you today mm. i noticed you were wearing a wedding ring but that's not going to stop him have you been married long have you got any advice for a happy marriage that's if you and your husband are happy oh my god he's bold are you happily married unbelievable he hasn't even started yet and he's already hit on two of the staff. That we know of. What if there's more? Well, he's certainly going to get a shock when he turns up and sees him. Right, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Sorry about that. Just had to deal with a bit of a flirty dad. Was it Paul, James's dad? Wait, is he hit on you too? And Saoirse. Wait, so he hit on you too? And Autumn. Seriously? Yep, that was her on the phone now. She was just giving me a heads up because she's going to contact the mum and let her know what's been going on, okay? Because, I'm oh, sorry, if it were me, I want to know if the man I was going to spend the rest of my life with was hitting all the staff that's about to take care of my child. So, could you and Saucia just also send across screen grabs just so we can show her as well? Yeah, good idea. Oh, God. James's mum, that's going to break her heart. Oh, no, but since James hasn't officially started with us yet, me and Autumn are going to ask her if she wants to go out and get some drinks, you know. Drain her sorrows in a pint of vodka or something. Oh, that's a really nice idea. Although it feels like the dad's being love just a little bit too easy from all of this. Oh, no, he's not. I'm going to message him and pretend to want to meet him, and then I'm going to send Reese instead. Really? Reese is going to do that? Yeah, for a man who says he doesn't get jealous when other blokes hit on me, he certainly jumped to the chance to do that when I showed him the messages. So, preschool, what do we all think of our new goldfish? And what's that, Susie? I think we should name it as well. We should... Gregory! A few hours later. Evening! Good evening, Gregory. Would you like to go get your stuff out of your tray just while I chat to your mummy? There we go. Oh, what do you need to chat to me about? So, we had a really small incident earlier, I'm afraid. Okay, what happened? So, I'm sure you saw in the letter last week that as part of learning about the cycle of life, we got a goldfish. Oh, that's right. Where is it? Well, um... We introduced the children to the goldfish this morning and I briefly looked away and whilst I did that, unfortunately, uh, Gregory did unfortunately put his hand into the tank and grab the fish. He grabbed the fish? Oh my goodness, what did he do with it? So he actually proceeded to put the goldfish on the floor and repeatedly stomp on it. Oh no, is the goldfish dead? Oh, it was dead after the 
first stomp for sure. However, Gregory decided it would need nine or ten more. <laughs> Sounds like he was making sure. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering, do you have any pets at home? Yes, we've got a cat, a dog, and two hamsters. I see. And has Gregory shown this kind of behaviour with any of them? Oh, all the time with the hamsters. S sorry, all the time? Oh, yes, if he's not trying to grab them through the cage, he's trying to get at them with the hoover as well. Okay, and I'm assuming you tell him that that's not good behaviour. No, of course not. He's only messing around, much like he was with the fish earlier. Yeah, I'm not sure if the fish would see it that way. Obviously, his messing around resulted in a dead animal. I know, but it was a fish. But it was a living thing, and it was in here to actually represent life so the children could learn. Um, which, actually, they got more than they bargained for in that lesson. I'm sorry, are you trying to suggest that there's something wrong with my child because he killed a goldfish? I mean, if it were an isolated incident, then no, obviously, children get curious about these things and we can understand that but if this is a pattern of behavior whereby he's actually trying to get to other animals as well then I would perhaps raise some concerns about that. I see and what would you have me do okay ship him off to some institution have him sit down with a psychiatrist all because he wanted to kill a goldfish what do you want me to do with my four-year-old? No I'm not saying any of that I'm simply suggesting that perhaps you talk to him about that kind of behavior as you yourself have said that you've never done. Talk to him? And exactly what am I supposed to say? I guess anything along the lines of, you know, hurting animals isn't kind. You know, we, we shouldn't kill animals. We shouldn't kill animals. My God, I don't want to traumatise him. How do you think that's going to make him feel? How do you think the fish feels? So I'm Charlotte and this is my colleague, Saoirse. Hiya. Lovely to meet you both. I'm Eva and this is my fiancé, Paul. Oh, well, it's lovely to meet you both. All right. So when's the big day? Oh, well, we haven't set a date yet. We've got a few other things to sort out first, but um, hopefully not too far. Oh, that's so exciting. And is little James going to be a page boy? Oh, yes, definitely. He's going to be our little page boy. Oh, well, James, we can't wait to have you start with us next week. And it was lovely to meet you both. Oh, it was so lovely to meet you both. And um, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye. 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 Sasha. Charlie, I am so glad you're here. Is everything all right? You know that new boy that's starting with us next week, uh, James? Yeah. His dad just messaged me on Facebook. Oh, what, with like a question or? I think he's testing the waters. What do you mean testing the waters? So initially I thought it was just a nice message. So, hi, uh, it was nice to meet you today. Mm -hmm. Most make you beauty being around all those kids. Do you think you and your boyfriend might have kids someday? He's trying to figure out if you're single. <laughs> Even if I was, he's barking up the wrong tree. But like, he's engaged. That's really shady behavior. <gasps> he's not messaged you too. He has? Oh my God. Ah, stop, what's to say? Lovely to meet you today. Mm. I noticed you were wearing a wedding ring, but that's not gonna stop him. Have you been married long? Have you got any advice for a happy marriage? That's if you and your husband are happy. Oh my God, he's bold. Are you happily married? Unbelievable. Uh, he hasn't even started yet and he's already hit on two of the staff. That we know of. What if there's more? What do we well, he's certainly gonna get a shock when he turns up and sees him. Right, I've gotta go, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Sorry about that, just had to deal with a bit of a flirty dad. Was it Paul, James's dad? Wait, is he hit on you too? And Saucer, wait, so he hit on you too? And Autumn? Seriously? Yep, that was her on the phone now. She was just giving me a heads up because she's going to contact the mum and let her know what's been going on, okay? Because, I'm oh, sorry, if it were me, I want to know if the man I was going to spend the rest of my life with was hitting all the staff that's about to take care of my child. So, could you and Saucer just also send across screen grabs just so we can show her as well? Yeah, good idea. Oh, God. James's mum, that's going to break her heart. Oh no, but since James hasn't officially started with us yet, me and Autumn are going to ask her if she wants to go out and get some drinks, you know, drain her sorrows in a pint of vodka or something. Oh, that's a really nice idea. Although it feels like the dad's being a little, just a little bit too easy from all of this. Oh, no, he's not. I'm going to message him and pretend to want to meet him and then I'm going to send Reese instead. Really? Reese is going to do that? 
Yeah, for a man who says he doesn't get jealous when other blokes hit on me, he certainly jumped to the chance to do that when I showed him the messages. Hello? Yeah, hi, is that Amelia's mum? Speaking. Oh, hi, it's the nursery calling. About Amelia? Oh, hello, is everything okay? Well, I just wanted to give you a quick courtesy call. Okay. So, unfortunately, Amelia was hit by a car today. What? Yeah, I just wanted to let you know. She was hit by a car? Oh my god, how fast was the car going? Oh, the car was flying, so the impact was pretty big. Oh my god, is she okay? Well, she stopped crying now, but she has got a, quite a bump on her head. On her head? Oh my god, oh my god, okay, I'll be right over. Oh no, I'm not calling you because you have to collect her. I was just telling you so that when you walked through the door later and you saw her injury, you didn't freak. Oh god, it must be bad. No, 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 there's no way I can wait to the end of the day. Right, I'm on my way, I'm on my way right now. Okay. It's too dramatic. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I just found out Amelia was in my car. Sorry? Judy rang me about 20 minutes ago and said Amelia's been in my car. I've been trying to get here as quick as I can. Jodie rang you and told you that? Yes! Okay, I'm going to come with you. Okay! Okay, I'm here, I'm here. Where is she? Where's Amelia? Oh, hi. Amelia, come over here to mummy. Oh my god, Amelia, darling, you've... She... She looks okay, doesn't she? Well, yeah, it's literally like just a tiny bump on the head. I did tell you this on the phone. Sorry, Jodie, exactly what did you say on the phone? Because Amelia's mum is under the impression that Amelia was hit by a car. Well, she was. Ah! Oh, whoa, 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 sorry. What car? Ah, uh, I think it was that red one down there. Wait, wait, she was hit with a toy car. Yeah, I said on the phone she was hit with a car. You said the car had been flying. In my head, I thought it was going like 70 miles an hour. I mean, the speed at which she flew across the room, it might have been going 70 miles an hour. No, Jodie, Amelia's mum was under the impression that Amelia had been hit with a full-size car. How would a full-size car have hit Amelia? We're literally indoors. I don't know. I thought maybe you'd taken them out to the car park for an activity or something and Amelia had run off into the road and been hit. I've been in an absolute state and a panic this whole time. Oh, well, you didn't need to worry. I literally put an ice pack on her and she was fine. Ah. Uh, Jodie, how about you and I have a chat about um, clear communication? Oh, again? Shut I can't keep doing this. That makes two of us, Jodie. So as it's your first day, you'll just be shadowing me just to see what I do day to day. Okay, great. So these three babies are all in my group today. Oh my god, the little boy is so cute, isn't he? Yeah, they're all absolutely adorable. <laughs> yeah, but like the little boy is so cute, isn't he? Yeah, he's actually the youngest of the three. Ah, well, you are my favourite. Oh, actually, we don't have favourites here. I certainly would never tell a child that they're our favourite. Oh, why? Oh, because as teachers, we can't show favouritism to one child over the rest. It's completely unfair, so we just love them all equally. Oh, okay, but like, I'm guessing everyone does have their favourite though, right? I mean, some of them do have a closer bond to some of their teachers than others, but we would never ever pick a favourite out of our children. But you would secretly? Not even secretly, we just, we love them all. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what's the little boy's name anyway? That's Cody. Cody, okay. Hi, Cody! Uh, the other two are Natasha and Carla. Mm-hmm. Glad to see that what I said landed. Um, do you want to uh, bring them over here? We're going to sit down and do sensory time with them. Yeah, sure. I'll bring Cody. How's everything going over here? All good. Me and Cody are just reading a book together. I'm sure Natasha and Carla might like to read a book as well. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll play with them a bit later. It's okay. Hey, so I am actually going to need to take Cody in for a nap now. Oh, I'll do it. Well, actually, I was going to say, whilst I'm in the sleep room, would you mind staying out here and shadowing Saoirse? She's about to sit down with the children and do a painting activity, so that would be great to watch. Um, no, that's okay. I can come in and watch you put Cody to sleep. I'll also be putting Natasha and Carla to sleep as well. Okay. Do you know, I really think it's best that you stay out here. I can go into the sleep room alone with them. Honestly, it's fine. I can come in. I want to stay with Cody. He's so cute. Well, I'm just, I'm a little bit concerned that you've 
become quite attached to Cody. I mean, you've already said that he's your favourite and you've really not been away from him all day. So I wonder if it might be better if you spent some time with other children. But Cody's really attached to me. Is he though? I feel like you might be more attached to him. No, he's attached to me. Look, if I walk away, he follows me. because I've been taking care of him every single day, five days a week for the last six months of his life. I can't believe that. I thought we had like a bit of a bond. I'm sure the last few hours were just as special to him as they were to you, but perhaps now's time to go and play with other children. Okay, that's it. Cody, I'm so proud of you. Morning. Good morning, good morning, Angela. How are we today? Oh, she's fine. Bit of a nuisance this morning, though. Wouldn't do what she was told, but we're here now. Oh, not everyone's a morning person. Don't worry. Oh, Angela. You have a bruise just on top of your head, sweetheart. Oh, I can explain that. She was flinging herself around this morning, and then she just bumped her head on a chest of drawers. Oh, right. What were you doing flinging yourself around? Well, it's her ADHD. Oh, I see. Yeah, her ADHD means she, she literally always bouncing off the walls, She's always getting into accidents. Okay, well, I will make a note of that in the accident book. In the meantime, Andrew, if you'd like to go sit down with Carly for breakfast, that'd be great. Great, well, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Marjorie. Mm. Yes, my love. I was just writing up an accident for Angela, um, one she'd had at home, and I've noticed that she's had quite a lot of accidents at home. Okay, I mean, well, some children are just more accident prone than others. Oh, of course, yes. It's just that it's it's often um, bruising and it's not always showing up in places you'd expect it to be. I see. Are you concerned there might be something else happening? Well, Angela came in with quite a bruise on her forehead and obviously children bump their heads all the time, so I didn't think anything of it. But then her mum said it was her ADHD. What? Well, how so? What does she mean her ADHD? Well, she said because of Angela's ADHD, she flings herself around so much and that's how she got the bruise. But truthfully, I've never known Angela to do that. No, I've never known Angela to do that either. No, and even if she was flinging herself around, it doesn't really explain the bruising on, like, the areas that a child shouldn't really bruise. Okay, well, I'm really glad you brought that to our attention. We're going to keep an eye on that, aren't we? Yes. Great, thank you both. My sweet, what should we have for dinner tonight, okay? Darling, would you come with me over to Angela Mother's car? I need you to take Angela into the nursery when I have a chat with her mother. Hey, Marjorie, um, I got the message that you needed me to come in and see you straight away. Thank you, my love. So, you know how you brought up the concerns about Angela's bruising yesterday? Yeah. Well, this morning, winter and autumn were walking through the car park and autumn happened to glance over at Angela and her mum sat in the car and she did witness Angela's mum hit her. Oh my God, is Angela okay? Oh, she's fine. Literally, Winter brought her straight to the nursery. He's with her now. He's taking her to Soft Play because it's her favourite room. And obviously, we've called social services. They're on their way here as well. But she's absolutely fine. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel, I feel sick. All that, all that bruising? Oh, my darling, there's no way you could have known. Children bruise all the time, okay? You raised your concerns. Autumn's confirmed it. Social services are on their way and they're going to take it from here. Okay, I just I keep thinking about Angela and... Every single time I recorded a bruise, I just, oh God, I, I, want, I want to throw up. Okay, but some of them could have been accidental, okay? We record bruises for children all the time, okay? All you need to know is that she's safe and everything's okay now. Okay, okay, and um, you say Autumn saw Angela's mum do that. Mm-hmm. And Winter brought Angela in, so Autumn was alone with Angela's mum? Well, you know the old saying, an eye for an eye, and with autumn, it's the bruise for two black eyes. 